There are lots of websites out there that don't really offer what they say they do and sometimes you just wish you could block them. So we figured we'd show you four of the best extensions to block websites on the most popular browser of all, Google Chrome. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to block websites in Google Chrome 2019. Google Chrome is great, but it can also get in the way. Whether we're procrastinating and our hand autopilots our mouse to the Facebook bookmark, or if sites show up in our Google search results that we know are probably fake news, but click through anyway because the headline told us to, there are plenty of good reasons why we'd want to block websites on Google's browser. In this video, we take you through every way we could think of to bar certain sites for life, or at least until you unblock them again. You Blacklist. You Blacklist is a simple to use extension that lets you block websites from appearing in your Google search results, which let's face it, is pretty much the window onto the internet for most of us. Once you've installed the extension, there are a few ways you can block websites. Firstly, if a site you want to block appears in your search results, you'll see the option block this site next to its URL. Click this and the site won't appear in your search results next time. You can then manage your block sites by right-clicking the U Blacklist icon in your Chrome extension area and clicking Options. Here you can remove sites from your block list, add sites manually, sync your list to Google Drive to use on other devices and import your block list from Personal Block List. Speaking of which, whatever happened to Personal Block List? This used to be the go-to extension for blocking websites from appearing in your Google search results, but at some point in 2018 it stopped being maintained and has subsequently become unusable on the modern version of Chrome. Luckily, you Blacklist has stepped up to fulfill exactly the same role, so we recommend just using that instead. Use the hosts file. Whether you're on Windows, Mac or Linux, you can use the hosts file to block specific websites. It may sound a bit techy, but it's really not that bad and may appeal to those who like the idea of blocking websites without having to mess around with third party software. And it blocks the sites on all browsers. If you're not into this method, hang on a bit and we'll go into some other ways to block unwanted websites. But for now, here's how to use the hosts file to block sites on each major platform. Editing the host file in Windows. Go to C Windows System 32 Drivers etc. and open the hosts file using Notepad. I prefer Notepad++ myself, but what you use is up to you. Scroll to the bottom, then under all the hash symbols, type 127.0.0.1, followed by localhost. On the next line, type 127.0.0.1, followed by the address of the site you want to block. Then repeat this step for every other site you want to block. Editing hosts file in Linux and Mac. The process is exactly the same as for Windows, except you need to navigate to the slash etc directory to open the host file. Other than that, the process is exactly the same as for Windows. Block site. The best thing about Block Site is the authentication option. Once you've configured your list of blocked websites, you can add a password to the settings page so your children won't be able to access it and undo it, like they do. After installing the extension, open Extension Settings and add the websites you want to block. Also, check the Enable Authentication box and specify the password to block access to the settings. Stay focused. Stay Focused is one of the best website blocking extensions for Google Chrome. We all tend to waste a lot of time at work on Facebook and other time wasting websites and this extension limits the amount of time you can spend on these websites and any others of your choice. You can specify the days Stay Focused will restrict your browsing activity along with the time you can spend per day on time wasting websites. Apart from that, you can create a list of blocked allowed websites as well. Another handy feature is the nuclear option. Enabling this feature will restrict access to any blocked website even if you have not crossed the time limit. You can specify the number of hours you want to have access blocked. Conclusion 
Using one or two of these apps, Stay Focused and Ublock List are my personal favourites, you have much more control over which websites are permitted on your browser. It's amazing how easy it is to get caught up in a web of procrastination and time-wasting websites if you're not very, very careful. And these extensions will help you get rid of those unhelpful habits. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. That's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.